Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. We are on a journey traveling to North Carolina from North Central Texas to North Carolina. On our journey, we're going to visit multiple campgrounds in different states. And right now we are set up at Iron Mountain Campground in Arkansas on the Gray Lake. But we're done here. We're gonna head east, about two and a half hour drive for us on about a 30, 45 second time lapse for y'all. But we're gonna head east and visit Village Creek State Park in Arkansas. So come along with us as we explore Village Creek State Park, Arkansas. Let's go. across the state of Arkansas, two and a half hours. We are at Village Creek State Park, Arkansas. And man, what a beautiful treat this is gonna be. Let's get a site review taken care of first. This is site number 34, 50 amp connections. Look at that, oh man. And the big meadow in front of the site, super level, it is asphalt. I didn't even have to mess with getting even close to the level. Just drop the jacks. 50 amp and water. It's actually 30 and 50, 20. And here's the water. That's kind of in an awkward place. Not too far out of sight though. But check this out. We've got two picnic tables in this great big campsite. A little creek over here so much beautiful shade and way back here in the back there's a fire ring so you'll need to, need to if you want to cook with some charcoal you need to bring your own charcoal cooker so I'm gonna deploy a little red we're gonna go see some stuff at Village Creek State Park Arkansas Let's go find some stuff. Village Creek State Park, Arkansas. I need to keep emphasizing the Arkansas because there's a Village Creek State Park in Texas that we visited, oh, about four months, five months ago. This is Lake Dunn, Village Creek State Park. They actually have it looks like a boat ramp but up at the top of the hill and boy let me tell you that's a hill uh, there's a couple of tire stops so I think that's no longer a boat ramp but it is a fishing dock you can rent kayaks kayaks and it looks like a canoe what a beautiful place Cell service, cell service here at Village Creek is kind of spotty for us though. Anyway, uh, let's go 
Let's go check out the boat dock. Why not? Lake Dunn is not very ADA friendly. Steps everywhere. Oh, you can even rent a John boat. How about that? Mad River Canoe. All right, let's 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 go find some more stuff. So Lake Dunn does have a boat ramp. It's not that long, steep one. It's just a little bit farther down the parking area. Now this, this is a trolling motor only. And they've got limits. Five channel catfish per day per person. And only 10 crop or largemouth bass. And there's a long trail, four to six hours, to watch for storm damage and falling tree limbs. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Village Creek State Park, Arkansas, actually has some beautiful cabins, big cabins. And this one even seems to have direct TV. Uh, and via, via sat. That means internet. And that's a good thing because where we're set up in the RV, we don't have anything. We don't have TV. We don't have, and I'm carrying three cellular network connections and none of them are connected. All right. So there are cabins. Now let's go see some more stuff. Well, it's official. There are deer at Village Creek State Park. I'm up on one of the RV loops. This is not the one we're on, but if I had known what I know now, it would be. You'll have to jump onto the, the virtual tour when that comes out on Wednesday, Thursday this, this week. Uh, and you'll see where I am on the on the map. Right now, I'm I'm still looking for cellular connection. Stay tuned. More to come. So Village Creek State Park has one of the most elaborate equestrian camping setups that I have seen. Check this out. Man, look at these big old stables. It's beautiful, beautiful scenery. If I had a horse, I'd want to camp here. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Well, now this here is pretty cool. Village Creek State Park has got four tennis courts. So you can come out here and, and, and get your Serena Williams on. They're pretty cracked. I don't know if that makes any difference for the game. Let's go see some more stuff. So Village Creek State Park was actually is, is actually on the Trail of Tears. Now you can pause and read that should you so desire. They actually have some information on that on the website about the park as well. Now there's something that I haven't seen ever anywhere which is a public bicycle repair station they even have a, a manual air pump there to pump your tires up so they, they are fully in support of you bringing your bicycle this is located at the visitor center park store gift shop looks like what they also sell ice they have bike rental and firewood for sale. You don't even have to, have to have to bring a bicycle. They'll hook you up. All right, let's go see some more stuff. This is the Arboretum Trail in the amphitheater. I don't know how much of it is 
scooter friendly, but we'll cruise through here and check it out. Look how pretty this is. Now, I would certainly expect to, wouldn't be surprised, not necessarily expect, but I, I would not be surprised if Bigfoot hopped out and said hello. That brings us to the end of this concrete pathway. Let's go see some more stuff. So if you're looking for a place in Eastern Arkansas to host a family reunion, Village Creek State Park actually has you covered on several fronts. This is just one of, I think, three pavilions that I've seen so far. None of them that I've seen yet have uh, RV hookups, though. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So at Village Creek State Park, they have another, they actually have two tennis courts. Well, I guess it would be five if you count the four over that we just saw and the one that's here. There's also a basketball court with two different basketball goals so you can shoot some hoops in the heat all right let's go check out the swim area where are we ah village creek state park arkansas i'm down here by the beach i'm not going to get very too much farther down on the on little red but that's a really steep pathway I mean, if I was to start down that on, on Little Red, I'd end up in the water. And besides that, somebody's got their, their big dog loose down there. And big dogs always think that Little Red is a target or something. All right, I'm going to climb back up the hill here. And we'll go see some more stuff. Well, how about this? Pavilion number four, P4, is a screened-in, enclosed pavilion with kind of a, a little sink kind of kitchen set up, with a kind of a kitchen set up. Best of all, it's got screens to keep the bugs off of. Keep the bugs out of your beer. <laughs> Let's go see some more stuff.
Does it get any better than this? I have to say no. I mean, I'm set up in this fantastically, incredibly beautiful campground. There's a site that is, it is just massive. Huge, I say, it's huge. There's more sight here than, than the four of us can completely use. But that's not to say we're not taking full advantage of it. We got, we got the fire burning. I'm doing time lapse. I'm enjoying the, the creek. I mean, that's just so cool having the creek loop around the site. Having some ribeye, cooking it on the this grill that was sent to me to sample. Dogs are the ratty pack is freaked out by flies. Who knew that we had a fly phobia? So if, if you've been following along, you'll know that I started demoing this at our last campsite. Actually, I started the the video at RV base camp and now we're two campsites in this is a second meal you'll need to see the the video for this particular piece of equipment to get my true feelings on it it's got some good and it's got some could be better we'll see how it cooks a steak all right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out because we're gonna be up and rolling early in the morning, headed to our, our next destination. Appreciate you sticking with me to this point. If this is your first visit, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And if you've been following along, thank you. That's why, that's why I do what I do. That's why we're here. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, you rock. Thank you. Y'all come back now, you hear?